Yep, he's, he's all right. Well, we're off to a great start. <laughs> um, okay, this is an issue. Right, let's put him. <laughs> let's put him in the actual train here. Yeah, I get it, homie. We're drifting. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, because this is clearly a fair go here. And uh, currently what? we're uh, detaining you for all the dead bodies found in the chunk of your car. God, really? Oh my god, that is sick. Wow, you're really? a great detective. Well, I, I, damn, sir. Holy shit, Detective Cobo, can you believe this? You're going to be looking at 40 years or 1.1 in bail. And that's 1.1 million. Yeah. Busting nut could get killed off. Let the cops realize that there's a serial killer on the loose. So give me the story of this serial killer character then. Uh, she's always been a serial killer. She was someone I made when I used to play <laughs> Sims way back and in the day. People. Yeah, uh, way back in the day on Sims, uh, Sims 3, I had this mod called the Dexter Bear mod, which just let you murder Sims. Mm-hmm. Um, so she was a serial killer who would uh, befriend, like, like become best friends with whatever sim it is, murder them, and then write a book about it. <laughs> um, and that was just something that I, I, that was just one of my little character stories. So I, I brought her over from Sims to this world where she's, she's just essentially moved from, you know, fucking Simeon or whatever the fucking hell the Sim City is called to Orange County. And now I'm going to try to get the cops to realize that there's a serial killer and eventually have her get caught. So you want to do some serial shit today? Yeah. Well, it's your character. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Do you mind if, um, uh, I don't want to be Little C though, I don't want him to have a felony yet. Are we planning on getting caught? Uh, she's eventually going to get caught, I don't know if I'm going to get caught tonight. Because uh, I, I kind of want the police to piece together that there's a serial killer eventually. So well, like, I, I want to drop like a few bodies here and there. Uh, and her MO is that she carves a star on the chest with a, with a serrated blade. So do you um, want to do something unrelated with the dead body then? Just some casual murder? Yeah, yeah, we could do a casual murder. We can, like, you know, have a body in the trunk at the docks or something. Right, okay. Um, or, or we can just, I, I, I can make, like, a throwaway character. And uh, we can drive around and try to get pulled over. And then, you know, just in the me chat or something, just have the cop notice that there's something weird with the trunk. And when he searches his dead body in the trunk, or... Right, I don't um... Know. What, what other ideas you got? Well, I don't want to use Charlie for that. Because Charlie's not meant to have any felonies till I do my own dead body thing that I've been planning. Mm-hmm. So, I'm gonna use... I can't use Buster Nut. Actually, yeah, I can. I haven't used Buster Nut in ages. I might bust a Nut. <laughs> I can just hear mad car alarms. What the fuck's happening over there? Cops. You see, I think this makes perfect sense because Buster Nut does have a record. Right, so let's go to the RP store. I can't actually remember the last time I used Buster Nut. I love the way we're two murderers. So what's the story about how this dead body became a dead body then? Uh... We can have it as the beginnings of Vegas if you don't want to take the rap for it. No, I don't mind taking the rap. We could be a team. Serial killer team. Yeah, that works. <laughs> this is the start of a very dark story. Yeah, this could be... Um, we could have it set up that it's kind of like a twisted... Uh, it's called twisted. Foley Adu. It's a uh, sheer phenomenon. Oh, they didn't need them. I can't even get up on the curb. Great 4x4. Four four. Right, so we want... How many dead bodies do we want? One or several or two, maybe? Uh, Yeah, we could do two. Just have one as, like, the victim, and then one was just an accident because they witnessed it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get a radar detector as well as our excuse for speeding. Can I pick up a forged passport? Ooh, fake ID could be useful. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna grab the fake ID as well. Where the fuck is it? Near the top, I think. There it is. 
Yeah, I've got a forged passport and fake ID. Now they added a few things in here. Spiked drink, open beer. <laughs> yeah, the spiked drink's been... They've both been there a while since the beginning. Oh, I just never noticed them. Handmade pipe bomb hand grenade. They knew. <laughs> So what I'm thinking is, if I go up to the Polito Forest, that's where we killed them and then we come back from there. No. Yep, he's, he's alright, well, we're off to a great start. <laughs> um, okay, this is an issue. Let's have a look what he wants. You all okay? Yeah, sorry, I just... we had a flat so he was fixing it then. I got some of that spray filler. Right, just uh, you're parked in the red zone, just making sure you're okay. Yeah, we're going now, we've pumped the tire up and everything. Alright, stay safe. Okay, have a good one, officer. Oh, dude. I was half tempted to put her in the chat and start sweating. Yeah, we're off to a great start. We hadn't even started to drive it off of the truck yet and we're pulled over. <laughs> Do you know how much I shit my pants right then? The way he pulled up as well, I thought he was going to priority stop us. Yeah, I'm going to obey all the traffic laws up to Pleo Forest and that's where we commit the act. I'm then going to put the yep. dead body and the radar detector in the car. Hey, we could use the uh, same excuse on the victim. Excuse me, I've got a flat. Can you help me fix it? And a tire iron around the back of the head. Oh shit, I don't have any weapons. Uh, we should stop at an ammunition on the way up. Yeah, I need a knife. Yeah, I was thinking I need to grab myself a blade. Well, do you want to get the blade and I'll have a tire iron? Yeah. Like, they'll find a bloody tire iron in the back of the car. Yeah, they can find the bloody tire iron on you, and then when they search me, I'll just put bloody knife or something. Or <laughs> bloodstained knife. It's worrying how much thought we're putting into murdering someone. <laughs> Do you know what will be even greater? Obviously, we're going to get a murder charge. <laughs> if we just pay bail and walk out, they're our serial killers. <laughs> I probably will end up paying it, to be fair. It very much depends how much it is. I'll pay for yours, it's fine. I'm glad I went slow past there. I mean, I've got a few million on me. Just casually, as you do, you know. Be a millionaire in cash. Yeah, no, I've got a, I've got, I don't know, a couple, I think it's 10 million last time I looked? 13 yeah. million on me. And then I've also got, like, close to 8 million in cars that I could sell. I could sell, I could sell my Nero if I have to. Uh, just, just tell everyone. Just tell everyone we got stocks in Flamazon. Stocks in Flamazon? Yeah, it's Flamazon. Copyright. <laughs> Since I've started playing here, it's been so weird not playing with uh, the Raider. Raid. Ra wow. Radio. God, I can't speak. <laughs> Without the radio on. Yeah. I spent so many years listening to uh, West Coast talk. It just feels weird not not hearing Ray D'Angelo when I'm driving around. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Ray. I, I, I used to listen to that channel quite a lot. I did like non-stop pop FM, but it got boring pretty quick. Yeah, as soon as they uh, as soon as they added the biker DLC, uh, me and me and my but he's pissed off one of my friends really bad. He, he was like really serious about trying to start up a, uh, a biker RP. But this was on vanilla, so it's not like you could really do much. Yeah. But he's trying to be all serious and hard. And uh, me and my buddy are just driving behind him on our motorcycles, uh, singing uh, the Rihanna, make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. There it is. Alright, I picked up a blade. Yeah, I got a knife and all. Oh, could I get a tire iron? Uh, I think you can get a crowbar. Yeah, that'll be second best. Right, we're all full of gas. Alright, I've got my... Oh, God, I have to turn off listen. 
There we go. That was horrible. There, I've got my voice ready on GTA now. Yep. What well, on shout? No, no, no. I, I put on my voice changer ah. just to make it a little bit. It's it's not Mickey Mouse like Matthew. I I actually know how to work more Fox. <laughs> I did actually do Serial Killer RP before, and it really sucks because it was amazing, but I didn't record it. I was just doing it to fuck around and it turned into something more serious. <laughs> that would have been a really good video as well for my channel. But now we've actually got dead bodies, then it makes it a lot more immersive. I actually got a message off, I think it was Knight, the cop who was on scene, like the investigator. And yeah. he, he sent me a message afterwards, he's like, dude, seriously? You give me chills, are you sure you're not a real killer? <laughs> it's like, well, not yet. Right, Polito Forest. The place of killers. Apparently. <laughs> this is going to be crazy good. So do you want this to all to be generic, or when we're done here, do you want me to call in an anonymous 911 call about our truck so they know to look out for us? Nah, generic. I've got a ra an RF scanner, like a radar detector. So I'm going to speed okay. back to the city, and when they pull us over, I'm just going to be like, you shouldn't have been able to see me. I'll keep my eyes out for any locals. There's got to be some somewhere. Although, saying that, it is raining. They don't really spawn that much in the rain. Maybe at the tunnel. Okay. Huh. Found a deer, but that's about it. We might just have to improvise and kill some deer and pretend that they're people. Yeah. I got no problem with shanking a deer. Hello, victim. <laughs> Excuse me, love, can you help me move my tire? Oh, that sounds horrible. Right, let's put them let's put them in the actual trunk, yeah. No trunk, the trunk is closed. Oh, I found it, I got it. So I'm going to put my dead body in there. Deposit. Uh, radar detector. <laughs> We've actually got some tools and shit in the back. Um, anything else I want to put in there? Uh, your crowbar. Crowbar, yeah. Are they going to have like that cross carved on their chest or anything? Uh, yeah, yeah, when the cops come up, I'll say that there's a star carved into the chest. Yeah, you gonna put your shit in the trunk now? Uh, the only thing I have is a knife, which I'm gonna have on me when the cops search me. Because in the trunk, they'll find your stuff, and then on me, they're gonna find this stained bloody knife. Ah. Um, yeah, I'm just checking. I put everything in there. Right, we've got a radar detector scanner. Jammer. That's the word I was looking for. Let's get back to the city. Ah, oh, I almost oh. drifted that perfectly. <laughs> that would have been really impressive then. Do you want to type up ready? Um, something like, I don't know, occupant, clearly sweating, foul smell? Well, no, it wouldn't start smelling yet, would it? No, we could put like, uh, you notice what looks like a bit of blood at the trunk, like at the entrance of the trunk or something like that. Yeah, on the tailgate. Yeah. Um, occupant sweating. I do hope this radar jammer works. I'd piss if it actually did. Thing is, even if it did work, it only works if you're a little bit over the speed limit. Because it's like anything faster than that, they would just be able to see that you're going too fast. Yeah. Uh, hi there. Yeah, uh, I was just driving uh, driving down Route 13. I seen some uh, 
some pickup truck. It was like a silver Silverado, a gray Silverado. They were uh, they, they're driving pretty frantically down the highway, uh, heading towards the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were uh, southbound on 13. Uh, it looked like they were heading towards the city. Oh, that's my cue. There we go. All right. I've got, uh, you notice both occupants look nervous and are slightly sweating. You also notice what looks like a bit of blood on the driver's shirt. And then when they, uh, when the cop walks up to the window, I'm going to type out, uh, you can also visibly see through the window, uh, what looks like a bloody knife on the female's waist or something like that, or leg. Uh, Sound yeah. like a... Okay. I'm going to have to memorize a whole new phone when Dave finally adds this new phone script. <laughs> I've memorized my phone number on here because I give it out so often. <laughs> I remember my old one, but not my new one, which is not very useful. <laughs> oh. oh, we're out of gas. Shit, dude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, where's the closest gas station at? <laughs> it's going to be the one down here. Yeah. We're just gonna have to off-road. Come on. We got eight. I should have kept an eye on that. Here, yeah, while you're doing that, I'm gonna do this. I can't accelerate. <laughs> Actually, no, they would have taken that from me, I think. Uh, let me check. What are you doing? Oh, oh my Jesus, god. Jesus, that makes me fall out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it did that. Just keep going. Yeah. Just, just yeah, go. Yeah, if we had been screwed, I was checking uh, on by my other character. I have a jerry can. Oh, my engine died. Ah, oh, this is not good. I'm waddling towards you. Oh god, there's a cop as well. Just talk your way out of it. Oh, that was me, okay. I didn't see him. I didn't even hear him. Yeah, hang on. I'm on veto, so it's fine. Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> this could not have gone lesser to plan. Is he giving you a lift? Yeah. <laughs> this could not have gone less to plan. I'm almost full of gas. <laughs> are you? Oh yeah, you're filling up on that side. Okay, I was like, where the hell are you? Yeah. Well, the gas hole is there. The filler cap, that's the word I'm looking for. Not gas hole. Yeah, I didn't know that made me fall out of the damn truck. <clears throat> what was you doing, changing character? Yeah, yeah, I brought up the car menu, thinking I'd be able to just switch and then have the jerry can. I didn't know that it was the same as alcohol, it just made you fall out of the car. Yeah, it resets your ped, doesn't it? <laughs> Anything that resets your ped <sighs> makes you fall out of the car. Right, hopefully that speed trap's set up by now, then. I can't believe that, though. <laughs> out of gas, then you fell out of the car. <laughs> and I couldn't even stop to help you either, because I needed to get to the gas station. Yeah, I, I explained that all to the cop. I was like, yeah, no, I must have to put my seatbelt on, and I'm pretty sure I just didn't close the door all the way, because I tried leaning up against the window, like just leaning my head on the window, and the, <laughs> the door just swung right open, and I fell out. I just yelled at him, telling him to keep putting along, because we were down to, like, two fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Right, back to our uh, main story. <laughs> I'm just glad that cop didn't get a radio transmission of that fast Silverado. Yeah. Although saying that, it would have still worked, it just would have been awkward. Oh, there was a cop on the left there then. Yep, he's coming. There we go. Come on, copper, you could definitely catch it. I think he hit, got hit by an AI as he pulled out. Alright, 
Well, I've got the first bit ready when we do get the uh, the red awesome. lights going. Wouldn't it be great if we hit like every single cop's radar in town? <laughs> Just have like 12 cops on scene. Well, it, that would be needed for what we've done. Oh, shit, hang on. I, that little bump just reminded me, no seatbelt. There we go. Come on, right here. No, no. Look, where the, what? Oh, God damn it. Just say you, like, clipped your car or something and sped off. Yeah. We're at, what, Strawberry and Carson? Yeah. Just or say coming up on Carson? Yeah. Going towards the airport. Hey, home. Some some puto in a gray Silverado just clipped my car and drove off near Strawberry and Carson Avenue. <laughs> yeah, Holmes. No, if you could just find the truck and like you know, so I could get his insurance or something, because he he smashed my car and then just sped off like a crazy person towards the airport. Looked like they were heading towards the airport. I, I got a little bit, it was like 2mm, I didn't really see anything else though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Name is Stacy Holmes. <laughs> yeah Holmes, it's uh, 34829. The fuck was that then? Strawberry and Carson, and they sped off heading uh, southbound towards the airport. <laughs> no, straight down Strawberry. <laughs> excuse okay, me, thank while, you, Holmes. Excuse me while Calvin has a stroke as a Mexican guy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. They know we're going southbound. Strawberry towards the airport. Yeah, I've parked up here for a bit to give them time because we don't want to get to the airport. Apparently, in order for a serial killer to get caught in this town, they gotta go just turn themselves in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, we might have to resort to that soon. <laughs> just walk up to a cop and yell, bro, I murdered someone. I did try and let you guys know, yeah, but you're fucking useless. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you that way. But he is literally a dead body from the incuffs. Oh, there he is back there. I right, can't be smart enough to drive up. Oh, yeah. That, that's yeah. That's him coming up on us now. Okay, there yeah. we go. All right. I've got the message ready. As soon as he pulls us over, I even gave them a partial. Come on, you can see the partial. Pull us over. Oh God. Please. Well, to be fair, I've got a knife on me. I could escalate this if we get cornered. So what what's this say, the text chat thing? Uh, you notice both occupants look nervous and are slightly sweating. You also notice what looks to be like a bit of blood on the driver's shirt. And then when he walks up to the car, I've got another message copied talking about the bloody knife that's strapped to my leg. Let's go under the thing. Yeah, I get it, homie. We're drifting. No, okay, there we go. <laughs> that was good. Alright, as soon as he steps out of the car, I'm gonna hit it, because he wouldn't notice it in the car. Yeah. This weather's perfect as well for a serial killer thing. So how many people did we kill? Two? Yeah, we killed one person, and then the second one was an accident. There was a witness. Okay. And they're both in the trunk, right? Yeah. So what's in the trunk altogether? Two dead bodies, a crowbar. And an RF. Yeah. Well, no, that'd be in the windscreen to deter radar. Oh, yeah. All right, come on. Out of the car. Actually, while I'm waiting, this will give me a chance to just get this all copied and pasted and ready to go. There we go. I 
think you'd get a secondary in. I'm putting, you notice, um, you notice a radar detector stuck on the inside of the windshield, and here's the secondary. Alright, well, this is interesting. He's got his AR out, that's, he's Jesus. prepared. He knows something's going on. Oh yeah. You do yours first and I'll do mine after. Hey, how's it going, officer? Oh, wrong button. Hey, how's it going, officer? Not, not too bad, not too bad. Um, yeah, it's okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took Just... you earlier, correct? Um, yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, driver, you might step in another vehicle coming back to my bar, talking to me. Uh, yeah, sure. Is there a reason for that? Just, uh, your, your, your vehicle has been called in. I think it was the same vehicle, but you want to make sure it, it was the same vehicle, so we're just going to conduct this uh, investigation, right? Uh, yeah, sure, okay. Uh, passenger, stay in the car. I'll just come on this way, sir. Um, yeah, I'm going to freeze my car for me. I'm just going to detain you for the time being, alright? Uh, why? We haven't done anything. Just go to face the car. Face the car. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, just gonna, okay. uh, just gonna pat you down. Make sure you don't have any uh, weapons on you or anything like that. Okay. So uh, I need to know anything about uh, any anything uh, that's on your person. Um, no, 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 nothing. Like face away from your dick. I'm just gonna detain you for your safety. All right, I do feel something sharp in here. Oh, this. yeah, that's that my, um... You might walk it over here the, uh, oh. Uh, sure, I put that in the trunk. Go ahead and, uh, lean right. against the push bar here. It's got a knife on your person there, sir. Yeah, I, I forgot about the knife. That's, um... That's when I go hunting. Right. You got your ID on you, sir? Uh, yeah, sure. Um... Now, where is that located? It's in my back pocket there, you should be able to feel it. It's um, Bob Michaels. Bob Michaels. Alright Bob. Just uh, hang around, I'll be just watch. <laughs> Hopefully he picks up on that. Alright man, uh, what's your name? Uh, Stephanie? Michael. Is that your real name? Right, can you follow me, sir? Bob? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, just of follow course. me to I have the, I have the ID on me. You can take it and open it. Okay. Alright, Bob. Why are you lying to me, Bob? Because this is clearly a fake ID. And, uh. What? No, Bob no, Michael's that's. My system, so. that's, that's definitely my ID. It's, um, it's my driving okay. license. Right. It's not true, is it, at all? So, so then, whose car are you driving? Oh, that's uh, that's my friend. That is, his name's Buster. Okay. Is there a reason Buster and you look alike, sir? Um, yeah, he's like, we wear the same outfits and stuff. We all sh we go shopping together, and we pretty much got the same sense of style. <laughs> I, I don't mean your your clothing style, sir. I mean your face. Oh, um, same hairstyle maybe? I, I don't know. Right. I don't know why you're lying to me, Mr. Nut, but, um, I know you're being detained for a hit and run, alright? I ain't hit anything, man. I stopped. I stopped for you then. But am I free to go? Yeah, you, you didn't hear me, but, uh, you, you, no, no, you're not. You've been called in by a uh, caller that uh, you hit someone and, uh, and then you left. Your your vehicle was described with your partial player to Mike Mike. No, it must have been someone else. Right. 
So you were you, some other Silverado matching your your car, your vehicle's description, and uh, leaving the same area was um, was handing me a fake ID. No, that's definitely my ID, and they're they're pretty common, man. They're like the second most sold car in America. The Silverados, they they they're common. I haven't hit anyone. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe you, sir. You wanna just follow me back to my car? Actually, we're just gonna get into this floor right now, right? Come on. Um. Let's go. Okay. I mean, do I have to? Can't I just sit at the front? Hey, is your nope. You you got your the female in front of my car. I don't want people talking whilst I'm talking to this guy. Ah oh, well, he's he's giving me a fake ID. I mean, look at this. Look at this shit. <laughs> Come on, it's the hell. You do well. Actually, about as fake as it get. I don't know what you're no. lying to me, sir, but I am going to find out. No, that's that's my ID, honestly. God damn it. Hey, right now they're just talking about me and my fake name. Mine's fake ID as well. So he'll figure it out pretty quick, fair play. They haven't searched the truck yet, though, so we've got the hand, upper hand. I'm going to put you notice spots of blood near the tailgate handle on Silverado. Do you want me to, in case you're out of range? Well, let me know if it pops up. Oh, I got it. Uh, that one cop just uh, ten zero. It looks like. Uh, I'll just redo the text chat here. Hey, Mr. Bob, Bob, do you mind if I search your friend's car? Since it's not yours, you shouldn't have too much of an issue, right? Um, I mean, I don't think you'd want anyone going through it. So you don't, you don't, you might, you do mind me searching your car? Yeah, well, it's not my car, it's his, but I think he's cu he's quite a private guy. He probably wouldn't want someone searching through it. Okay. Well, why is that blood on the tailgate? Oh, um, that must have been from when I was hunting. That's where the knife was from. Okay. And uh, what were you hunting? Deer. Deer. Yeah, Do you have any proof of uh, your deer hunting uh, escapades? No, we um, we took a picture and left it there. But my camera broke. Right. <laughs> we sound so sketchy right now. Okay. Oh yeah. The camera broke, you took a picture. Um, you went hunting for deer with a knife. Anything else? Uh, no. But yeah, I, I really don't think you'd want you searching the track. As I said, he's a really private second, guy. Give me a second. Bands. Fuck. Yep. I said no to searching the truck, but they're probably uh, still going to do it. Sorry. This is bad. <laughs> I, 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 I think they have to, because they, they have reasonable suspicion at this point. Yeah, I know, but I was kind of trying to avoid that. I'm going to get a DM ready for Sahil on what he finds. <laughs> 61. I think it was 61, right? Yep. You find two dead bodies. Peers into truck, anything in plain sight. Human, um, a bloody knife and a bloody tire iron. So just peeking in the window, does he see anything? No. Mm -hmm. Ah, there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're about to Mirandize us, so when they do, after the Mirandize, just no comment. Yep. They can't use anything we've said so far against us. I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah, the cop that was over here with me left, if you catch my drift. Yeah, yeah, apparently went on an emergency vacation. Yeah. They, those are common in uh, Orange County, it's a lovely place to live. I'm going to try and blame Buster Nut, and right, then no comment. Gonna happen. Right now you're under arrest for possession of fake identification. Time you have the right to remain silent, and then you say it can't really be used against you in court law. You have the right to an attorney and have one present during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state of San Andreas. At any point, you 
you may exercise your right to remain silent and not answer any of my further questions until you have a lawyer present. You understand these rights as I read them to you? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely my ID, though, man. As I said, I've just been out hunting and all, you know. Yeah, there's no way that's an ID. I spent in your opinion. I spent six years in San Andreas forensics examining these IDs. And this is really fake, pal. Yeah, he's Mirandized me. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. That's the one I got through the mail. Right, right. I don't, I, I'm not buying it, but... So, we're gonna take you down the mission around get processed as soon as my partner shows back up. Okay. Is it a, like a misdemeanor or what? I guess we'll have to find out because uh, I don't have the law book on me, but I know it's illegal and it's a reasonable offense. Okay, I'll have to get in touch with the, the DMV. They, they must have sent a fake one out to me, I don't know. Yeah, the DMV doesn't send fake out either. It, it could have been like a misprint or a mix-up or something. Yeah, we're just waiting for Jake to get back in now. And then I'm going to... So far, he's only arrested me for a fake ID. Sahil didn't know what to say. He's like, uh, he's like, so right now you're being placed under arrest for uh, suspicious stuff in your car, like the, <laughs> like the dead bodies, and for giving me a fake ID. <laughs> I love that. For the suspicious stuff in your thing, like the dead bodies, for example. <laughs> you know, and, and the other minor stuff. <laughs> Dude, these cops are going to be so pissed if you both just pay bail, walk out and murder someone. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the first murder charge. I've had two attempted murder charges now. I'm pretty sure Buster Nuts, the character I did my serial killer thing with before. Let me have a look. I, yeah, there it is. Abuse of corpse. That's the charge I got. Abuse of corpse slash murder. Sahil's trying to convince me to tell him what's going on. Nope. Oh, hey, Xander. So, oh, me and Kelvin are in the middle of murder charges right now. <laughs> oh, good. So, yeah. Huh? Has he said Wait, anything, by the way? Um, walk this way. Ah, oh, damn it. Sahil He's walked AI. over. Sahil walked over and said, has he said anything, by the way? He was about to answer, and then he went, "I'll oh, walk over here." I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah, this oh. is the this is the beginning of Vegas's serial killing ways, and what I guess she, she didn't know this, but uh, Buster over here has been murdering for a long time. So <laughs> yeah, I've got abuse of corpse on my record. Yeah, right. so so he's he's gonna become her mentor, I guess. <laughs> oh God, what did I sign up for? <laughs> I'm a serial killer you mentor. You're the county. <laughs> City. We're in the city. Oh, whereabouts? Uh, 387. What do you reckon they're going to charge us with then? Murder, obviously, two counts. Yeah, it'll have to be murder, two counts. Uh... Hit and run, maybe. They'll probably even drop that, to be honest. I reckon. I imagine if they wanted to, they could hit us with a failure to identify, because we did try to lie and give them fake oh. IDs first. I, I just got out of the car somehow. <laughs> Sorry, but I slipped on the handle. No problem. Oh god. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> Way bridge. I, I got out of the car uh, and the cop got hit by a car. <laughs> What's the road? So, um, what am I getting arrested for? Currently, we're uh, detaining you for uh, the dead bodies found in the trunk of your car. What? Dead bodies? Yeah. Oh, they must be busters. I have no idea. Alright, Buster. We'll get you down to the station as soon as the um, unit, who, the other unit, arrives and they can take you down there and we'll fingerprint you and we'll find out who exactly you are. Alright, Buster. Oh, I, I'd rather not. I, I really don't like technology. I'm um, That's okay. sensitive That's to... That's not something... I'm like really sensitive to uh, electromagnetic. That's not something you can decide, sir. 
That's okay, but it's not something you can decide. Damn it. Since you are failure to identify right now, so... No, I, I gave you my ID. The DMV must have sent a misprinted license or something. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, sir, that's not true at all, because uh, it's clearly a fake. I mean, that must be your opinion. I don't know where it got from, but... The DMV no, sent it to me see, through the post. We deal with, we deal with plenty of uh, fake IDs and real IDs to know what the difference is. I mean, I've got no use for a fake ID. Why would I want one of them? It's not like I need alcohol or anything from the shop. I'm not a kid anymore. That's a nice truck. Oh, investigators. Please tell me those are not investigators over there. I think they're investigators. Yeah, that's that. That's SAI. Fuck. <laughs> Dude. You guys have just kind of stirred up the hornet's nest a little bit, huh? A little bit? <laughs> yeah, that's two SAI agents. Yeah, and we've got two dead bodies. We can make it four if they start. There you go. <laughs> Just why they're the police force. Right, we're, so... We so only plan to kill the one. So, just so we're clear, so, so far they've asked about the body. You told them there's a star carved into the chest on one of them. Yeah. The other one doesn't have that. No. And they're going to separate and interrogate us, so we're just going to do no comment, no comment. Can I pay my belt now? Yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. I think they're taking me back to the station now. Have I missed anything in text chat? No. Yeah, I'm behind you. <laughs> Are they taking you guys away? Yep. Oh, you might see me though. Nope, oh, yep, I can see you. Coming to Tara Silverado. <laughs> I'll wave to you with my chin. I'm in the silver in I'm in the uh, exploder. <laughs> okay, yeah, so just so he kind of like, just so it was obvious, I put uh, second victim has no special markings. Uh, it looks like uh, like a passion killing, wrong place, wrong time. Okay. I can't wait to see the list of charges. If my bail's less than two million, I'm going to pay it. 28. Well, they're taking me a different way. Oh, shit. Why am I going this way? Uh, there is a guy standing on the back of the Silverado. <laughs> SIA. I think I might let my demeanor change and go from nervous to arrogant. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you don't want to look in the back. And I'm like, oh. He's like, yeah, we, we couldn't clean it all. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty the sure they have they people for that. The way that they're parked... Is so jank, and the way that they parked my, the Silverado. That was us. <laughs> we couldn't yeah, get up the curb. Uh, just so, just so you know, Nick, uh, I DM'd Jake one more time because he asked me about details on the first and second body. So the first body was fully clothed. However, the shirt was cut open down the middle, so I could carve the star on. Uh, the second victim was fully clothed uh, with blunt force trauma to the back of the head and a stab wound to the chest. Okay. So. We'll, we could play it out that he witnessed it. You hit him in the back of the with a crowbar. I stabbed him in the chest. It doesn't really it matter because we're going to do no comment anyway. Well, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's just if, in case he DMs you or something like that, you know what the story is with the first and second. Okay, I'm at the station now, so I'm going to mute up. Yeah, don't you think this is a bit excessive for a fake ID? Can't I just like pay it now, like the bail or whatever? As I said, it's not my problem. Uh, investigations ask you to bring us, bring you guys back here, so. Okay. Ah, uh, this is where it gets interesting. Right, I'm in my cell at the station, so... Come on out. Face away. They're gonna cuff me again. Alright, follow me. Fancy ass room. Right this way. Oh god, really? Oh my god, that is sick. Right, you can stand or you can have a seat. I'm gonna uncuff you. 
No, I'd rather stand. You got anything else on you before, uh... What's that? I'd rather stand. Okay, that's fine. Gonna patch you down one more time here. Okay. Alright. If you'd rather stand, I'm just gonna leave the cuffs on then, okay? I mean, do you have to? Well, I mean, I told you, if you sat down, I could cuff you to the table. It'd be a lot more comfortable for you. Yeah, I'll do that then. <laughs> I'm gonna try okay. and figure that out. Alright, go ahead and have a seat. That one way mirror is absolutely dope. Am I on the chair? Close enough. <laughs> just, just to reinforce it. <laughs> that one-way mirror is the most dope thing I've ever seen. I didn't even know that was possible in GTA. I can still see them, kind of. Ah! That's good to know. So save 24, is it, Kelvin? Kelvin, 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 Kelvin. Yeah. I am going to reposition myself to try and get on the chair. Oh, or not. Um, okay, whatever. That'll do. <laughs> I'm sitting on thin air. Yeah. Oh, someone just got beat up in a police station. And there goes the chair. Oh, he yawns loudly. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to do actions because they wouldn't be able to hear me. But seriously, though, let's tame the piss. Crabs, print sheet, and ink pad. Ah, there we go. Good evening, sir. Hey, how's it going, man? All right, so before we begin, we're going to need your fingerprints, and we're also going to need a DNA sample. So first off, all right, so looks like your hands are already cuffed here to the table, so perfect. So let's go ahead and get these prints done, all right? So we're going to start with your left hand here, and we're going to do every single finger, all right? And I'll help you let's get it all set, and we'll get this done as nice and quickly as possible. I uh, don't give consent to that. You don't have a choice, sir. That's not very nice. Yeah, I know. Sorry, sir. Alright, so we're gonna start with your left hand here. Alright, now the right. Still reluctant. <laughs> Sir, if you keep resisting, that's just going to be a charge. I don't think you want to go down that route. I'm not resisting. I'm just being reluctant. There's a difference. Uh-huh. You're a detective. Learn it. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for your uh, your very happy prints there. All right. Last thing here. I'm going to need you to open your mouth wide and say, ah. I'm going to go ahead and swab the inside of your mouth here. Uh... <laughs> It's either this or we remove hair from your body, and I didn't have to get the tweezers for that. I did uh, we it. Got it. He, he, no, he, he did it. We're good. All right, thanks. Oh, okay, I thought he said. I thought he said nah. Uh, like, that's nah, what he told me to do, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what he said. All right, I got the camera. So, uh, say cheese, sir. I'm gonna take a quick mug shot of you once he's done. Mature cheddar. Okay, I got. The no, isn't that's my order? I'll have that on a sandwich, please. <laughs> we'll work on that for you. Yeah. Right. We'll be back with you soon. And yeah, take your job. time. As long as you need. Hey. Hey. So, you said we had fake IDs on both of them, correct? But the IDs yeah. come back to the dead bodies. Wouldn't that be yeah. more stolen IDs there? Yeah, I mean, they stole them off them. Um, 
Yeah, okay. so it, it wouldn't actually be fake, even though they said they were fake IDs, they actually stolen them. Well, they so. misrepresented themselves, so I, I'm more... They, they gave a false name in commission of a crime, so I, I think come back that, to than, uh, Buster. Rather than, uh, Matt. IDs. Okay. As does... Because they, they attempted to misrepresent themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they I don't know why you told them, but I guess that's the story they're going with. I'll, I'll run with that. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Did you tell them that the prints, the, the fake IDs were from the victims, or just generic fake IDs? Uh, no, I told them they were our fake IDs. Right, because the way they're doing it is like, we stole the victim's ID and tried to pass them off as our own. It's fine, I'll, <laughs> I'll just run with that. They're still getting us for fake IDs, though. Yeah, yeah that's we'll probably that. That's probably the most minor charge we're going to have today. I'm hoping so, yeah. I, I'm like trying to just feed Jake information because I don't want that to be my only charge. I want a fucking murder charge on Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are planning on that. I did you overhear them. Alright, Mr. Nuts. Who? So, let's get started here. You, sir! In fact, would you like to see... Which which one of your mugshots would you like to see? Because uh, you got quite a few of them here. Because, no. you know, you've been arrested probably about, mm, I don't know, almost two dozen times now. Ooh, 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 I'm one of them, I think. I'm one oh, of yeah, them, that, I think. That, yeah, hang on, let, let's, let's, let's take a look through them. Right, they want to play mm. this. I think I'm that possession of uh, drug money. I think that one's me. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, he, so he, oh, yeah here's one from October of last year. Yeah. All right, so yeah, th this... But yeah, here's your most recent one from uh, back in February. Yeah, for let's see, you're arrested for fleeing, eluding, and possession of stolen fake or drug money. Hmm. All right. So, do you want to keep telling us you're not who you say you are? No comment. Because I I don't know. No comment. All right. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Well, let's start with this. How come uh, you were saying to our officers out in the field that you were uh, Bob Mitchell? Is my sandwich ready? Who's Bob Mitchell? Is my sandwich ready? Can I have a glass of coke with it? I told you we're working on it, but you know, there, this isn't a sandwich shop, this is a police station. It's also Pepsi only. I, I can't stand that shit, Detective Colvo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Subway really needs to change. I don't know. Didn't they used to have Coke products? Pepsi just Pepsi? runs this side of the city. It is absolutely ridiculous. There <laughs> it's must it's be some, truly tragic. There's some monopoly laws that need to be looked at for that fucking shit. Would, wouldn't you agree, Mr. Mr. Bob Mitchell, Buster Nut? No comment. Absolutely yeah. Alright, Mr. Nut. Uh, we're not going to beat around the bush here. Alright, your, your little buddy, Miss Star up there... She's already told us everything we need to know. So, Is she? Unless you have something to add that's going to either help you. I mean, you're going down for two counts of murder. Easy. So if you don't have anything to help us with, then, you know, we'll just go ahead and get the ball rolling and get you processed. And, uh, you know, you're looking at some, uh, what do you think, partner? 40 years at least? Probably for double homicide? You, you know, they're not looking too friendly these days on these sort of things. So I do something have to something us. to add. Oh, okay. That was a fake ID. Am I free to go? Hot damn! Wow, you're really? a great detective. Well, I, I, damn, sir. Holy shit, Detective Colbo, can you believe this? It's almost like the original thing we brought him in on was giving false identification! Oh my... Correct sir, me if I'm wrong, but that's what how, I was arrested for. How could you for. have done that? How could you have done that, sir? Yeah, I, I'll admit to that, and I do apologize. It, it was How very wrong of me. How could you have done that? It's... Absolute. That that takes it all. Like, you know, you, so you've got like, you've got like, murdering a child, you've got like stealing from an old person, you have trafficking like I don't know nuclear weapons, and then and then you have possessing a fake ID, sir. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm all, very sorry for the crime I've committed. I I did not I did not wish here. to commit that crime. And I take full responsibility for my action of using a fake ID. How do you live with yourself? 
How do you? No, no, partner, yourself? partner, partner. Look, he, he's he's what? remorseful. He he's he's admitting that you know he remorseful made a simple mistake. Actions, yeah, I'm gonna right. fucking yeah. slap these two. Now, obviously, you know, we 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 already knew that you know you weren't Bob Mitchell. We already we, we knew that. that from back when we were still standing out in the rain. The name I gave was Bob Michaels not... as well. That was a gunshot. Uh, Bob Michael Mitchell. I'm not sure. But regardless, that's not why you're in this room right now. You're in here Is it for not? two counts of murder. So, I'll, re I'll ask you the question again. Unless you have something to add on in relation to the two dead bodies in the back of that truck, we're just going to get you processed for murder. Because I already told you, we're, we're already done with your cohort upstairs, Miss Vegas Star, who is a, originally your wife or whoever she was pretending to be up in the Sounds like a stripper name, not going to lie. Yeah, she, I told she her really that. does, but yeah, she she's already she's already given up everything we need to know. So, and don't worry, you you won't get to see her anytime soon because she's going away too. But I mean, I DA is probably gonna look more favorably on her because you know send each other she, she's letters. actually willing to talk. Yeah, no, no, they don't usually allow letters between. Oh, that's facilities. yeah. But then again, she'll be uh, out sooner, so she might. She be will be out letters. sooner. Yeah, yeah, she will be out sooner. I would like to add something else. Oh my! Oh, okay. okay. I plead innocent to all charges other than the fake ID. Until well, proven sir, you're otherwise. Well, sir, you're more than welcome to plead whatever that you like, is, but I'm not the judge. This man is bold. This man is... Who's getting this shot? This man is an absolute legend. I am indeed. I'm glad you noticed. Thank God. Where would the world well, be sir, without I'm your not, detective how, skills? How could we not see, sir? How could people not see that you're a legend? Absolutely ridiculous. That was an explosion. Absolutely ridiculous if people do not see you as such. I know, it is blaringly obvious, isn't it? It really is. Like, I just take a look at you and you're just the glaring example of a legend. Some would argue borderline genius. Anyway, can I have tomato sauce on my sandwich? <laughs> yeah, well, definitely. I'm a you spicy ranch that? guy. Do you like spicy well, ranch? I, I think. Not really, I'm not really a ranch guy, but right. you know, I think we can pass guy. the sandwich order along. What is this to, uh, little routine they got going? In here in a bit. So, yeah, Department of we'll just go take care of some paperwork. You, you, yeah, you think about it. If you need something, just yell. Someone should come. Can I post bail now? Please. Not yet. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna fucking slap these bastards. Uh so cocky. And there's nothing I can do against it. <laughs> you definitely didn't grasp, did you, Calvin? You didn't say anything. Admit no, to anything. I, no, no, no. All I said was uh, was the, the fucking fact that the blood is going to come back matching the bodies to my knife. Other than that, I haven't said anything. Yeah, they're trying to make a... I didn't even tell him that... Uh, Tell them that we know each other by a first name basis. I said that I call you B and you call me V. We just use the first letters so that way we don't uh, we, we we don't even know each other's fucking names really. Yeah, it's it's funny because they're trying to make out that you came up with some kind of deal and that we were really intimate and all that shit and it's like yeah see I I kind of figured that's what he was gonna go with because he tried to get me with the deal and I was like no comment. <laughs> I was I was like no comment at all. They oh, haven't, okay, hang on, hang on, he's making me come with him. They haven't hit me with a deal yet, but I keep asking for a tomato sauce on cheese sandwich. <laughs> tomato sauce on a cheese sandwich? Yeah. That's I kind of want to ask thing, him for right? the same You're thing now. Weird. <laughs> yeah, you should. Ask for a mature cheddar cheese sandwich with tomato sauce in it, but give it to them, like, a bit at a time. Just be like, can I have a sandwich? And then they'll ask a question, just be like, I'll have cheese in my sandwich. Then they'll ask a question and just be like, can I have tomato sauce as well? Because <laughs> that's exactly what I did. But yeah, they're hitting us both with murder, clearly. Hey, do either of you guys got a tow I could I could do? Uh, yeah, can, can you come tow me out of this cell I'm in? <laughs> yeah, I got you. Oh, dude, I could just tow the bars. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm like sure. Like Red Dead Redemption episode, or, uh, season. See what is wrong? <laughs> Mission. <laughs> what is wrong with me? A lot. Ah, damn it. So, uh, absolutely no chance of bail. Oh, you're kidding me. That's not what I wanted to hear. What if they put down? Oh shit. What if they put me down? That's really not good. That's really, really not good. 
for me dang. What I meant is what if they give me the death sentence, Jesus Christ. Bust and nut could get killed off. Alright, Mr. Nut, good news. Your sandwich is on the way. I appreciate that. You've been very kind. No and, and don't worry, they even managed to find a Coke. I, I don't know how they did it on the side of town, but they managed to do it. Uh, but I do have some bad news. You're, you are being charged with a number of felonies. So you're being charged with two counts of murder, two counts of abuse of corpse, and one count of uh, false name. I'd like to plead innocent to all but the fake ID. Well, sir, you're more than welcome to plead innocent to whatever charges you like. I am not the arraignment judge. That will be up to them. So, uh, with this, you do have options. You do have the bail option, or you have the incarceration option. Now, would you like me to go ahead and tally up what the bail option would be? You know what? I, I would, actually. I think this could be entertaining right, for tight. both of us. I'm sure it will, sir. Let me Hang on, I gotta get the calculator, because I got some math to do. Take as much time as you need. I would imagine a detective would be uh, quite good at maths. <laughs> they offered me bail. All right, so the calculation here, you'd either be looking at 40 years or 1.1 in bail. And that's 1.1 million. Yeah, I'll pay bail. You're going to pay 1.1 million? Why not? All right. You are aware, okay, sir. So and uh, how much is the how much is bail for that? Two counts of murder, which are felony ones. Each one carries a three hundred thousand dollar bail amount, so that yeah. brings it to six. Then two counts of abuse of corpse, which is they're both felony twos, which then brings uh, they're both two hundred thousand, so that brings us to a four, which brings us to a total of one million right there. And then the false name is a third degree felony, which has a no, bail amount no, of one hundred thousand. That's, uh, that's, that's how all. you get one point one million. So just so that that breakdown is there for you, so you're aware of what's all going on with the financials. Uh, so, one thing to keep in mind, though, while you are out on bail, obviously, you, you agree not to commit any crimes, uh, you agree that uh, you surrender your rights for any firearms or anything until time when you can go to trial, and obviously, you know, whatever happens in the trial happens in the trial, but in the meantime, as you are already also a convicted felon, but based on other charges and everything, you already should be well aware of all your restrictions as a felon, so I probably don't need to sit here and list them all off for you. Obviously, you're not free to leave the state or anything like that while you're out on bail, or else you could be looking at federal charges, alright? That's perfectly acceptable. Oh, this should be entertaining. 3,000 seconds. <laughs> What's that, 40 odd minutes? Why didn't you just post bail, dude? He wouldn't let me. He said it's a felony oh, one, I therefore I can't post bail. Because um, the highest I can do for each citation at a time is 100,000, so we're going to have to do 11 of them, alright? Yeah, that's fine. You can just pile all 11 on me all if you right. want. Right, let's have a look. One. Damn it, partner. Two. There you are. Yeah, he's making payments three, right now. Four. Five. He's been charged with a felony one. He didn't have a chance six, for that. Yeah, no, seven, they still do. Eight. Oh. Well, yeah, they revised that law. Right. There you go. Well, um, that's that's right, going to be sir. covered in good faith, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh huh. So, all right, sir, I've already gone ahead and explained everything. You've already gone ahead and paid your bail amount of 1.1 million. We'll go ahead and escort you out. And remember, uh, the district attorney's office may be in contact. Uh, your first court date, according to our paperwork here, will be Thursday. So make sure you're present in the Davis court uh, Thursday morning at 8:30. All right. Okay. All right, sir. We'll Can you uncuff me? Out. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and uncuff you right now. That's why I'm on it. <laughs> if you wanna go ahead and stand up. Hey, okay, hey Calvin. Right do you yeah. wanna know something really funny? What's that? There was a law saying that you can't um, bail a felony one, but they revised it, but Jake didn't know. So I was bailed and you wasn't. Uh, yeah, he just released me and I'm, I am gotta head to the... Uh, fucking hospital to teleport down to the city to pay bail. 1.1 <laughs> million minor counted to. Oh, that's fucking nothing. Little Ruckus got worse than that earlier. I had to pay one fucking 1 million 15,000. That's fine. Um, I had two felony ones, two felony twos, and a felony three. Right, anyway guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has certainly been an interesting one. And uh, I will see you next time. Peace out guys.